So the other day, I was watching the Dalai Lama, and he was saying that when you help other people, it improves your health. And when you hurt other people, it diminishes your health. So basically, if you hurt someone else, you hurt yourself. And if you help someone else, you help yourself. And I said, yeah. And then I thought to myself, wait, am I just saying yeah because I, I think that's a great idea? Or am I saying yeah because, you know, that's actually probably the case? And then the whole next part I'm about to say took like two seconds of thinking. But I'm going to translate it in, into English, which will probably take like ten minutes. Alright, so to, to prove whether or not this is likely, I just have to figure out if it's uh, an evolutionary advantage to get sick when you hurt other people, or get healthy when you help other people, or if uh, it makes no difference. So let's go back thousands of years. And over here we've got ten people who have this characteristic, and they feel really good when they help each other, and they feel really bad when they hurt each other, and feel sick when they hurt others. And over here we've got ten people, you're so cute! We've got ten people who are indifferent. They don't, they don't feel good or bad when they help or hurt other people, it doesn't matter to them. So, let's take someone over here. Um, they say they want food and are hungry, and they see someone else with food. Um, they can just go take it. And it won't make them feel bad, it'll just make them feel like, hey, I got food. And if the other person isn't big enough to beat them up, then it happens and that's, that's the way it is. Um, well, that doesn't sound that great, because then, then you end up with people who, who are enemies to each other. Hmm. And then they, they won't live with each other, they'll live spread out. So I don't know, maybe that's good or maybe that's bad if they're uh, living spread out. But on the other hand, other hand, let's go over here and say you've got, you know, the people who feel good when they help other people, or feel bad when they hurt other people. Say one of these people is hungry and they see other, other people with food. But they, they, know in, they know if they take the food, they'll get an instant, like, bad feeling. So they won't take the food. Maybe they'll, maybe they'll say, hey man, can I, can I have a, a nibble? And then maybe they'll share it a little more. But, you know, I mean, that sounds better than the other, play, other plan. But still, people are going to need more food somehow. So let's go over here. This guy, this guy who lives by himself, he's going to go off and kill a pig. And then eat it. Hmm. But by the time he gets, like, a tenth of the way through the pig, he's totally stuffed. Can't eat another bite. So what does, he do, what does he do with the rest of the pig? I guess it ends up rotting, and he gets, ends up wasting all this, all this food. Well, that's not that great. So we go over here to the cooperative people, the people who feel good when they help each other. And those people will live together and stick together because it makes them feel good to, to interact. So if one of them goes out and kills a pig, they bring it back and share it with everyone else, and then they end up not wasting 90% of it. They use the whole thing. Well, that sounds way more efficient, because over here you've got ten different people. They all have to go kill their own pig, and then waste all of it. But over here, only one person has to go kill their pig, and then they all eat, which is great. And also, another person can go pick berries or something, and then they can have pig and berries. It's a more balanced diet. Whereas over here, if someone goes and spends the time to pick the berries, they don't have time to go kill the pig. So they end up just eating berries, or just eating pig. So yeah, this, this whole... Uh, feeling good and getting healthier when you help other people thing does seem like a huge evolutionary advantage. Okay, but say over here you got really independent-minded people and they're like, hey man, I'm gonna kill my pig and then I'm gonna smoke it so it lasts or turn into pig jerky and all this different stuff. Well, they have to build their, their smokehouse, but say the same people over here want to do it. You could have one person build a smokehouse and the whole tribe could use it. So that means each person only has to spend one-tenth of the amount of time on each thing. So this is way more efficient. So yes, I would say it is way more beneficial to feel good when you help other people and feel sick when you hurt other people. Makes total sense. So why is it that our culture today doesn't work that way? I mean, it kind of seems like the opposite. It seems like the general idea is that to be successful and get ahead, you have to hurt other people. You have to, like, put put them down to prop yourself up. Are you sticking your tongue out? <laughs> <laughs> um, how did that happen? Uh, it doesn't really make sense, because it doesn't make our lives better. 
Um, and I hear people often saying, oh, well, that's human nature to, to, you know, backstab each other and be mean to each other. Well, based on what I just thought about there, I really don't think it's human nature. And then if I think about my childhood and my past, and you're not getting the same one, you're getting a way better one, don't worry. Um, right from the time I was a little kid, I was indoctrinated with all this stuff. All this stuff that told me competition is good. I'm supposed to... I'm supposed to be the best, and then to be the best, I have to defeat everyone else. And I played lots of sports. <laughs> and I was really good at sports, too. Um, but it, it never made me feel that great. You know, it, it was kind of good to win and be like, yeah, I did a good job. But then I'd always have this little irk inside, just like, ah. But to win, I had to make these other people feel bad. And, like, I ran track for years, and I did really well. I, I won lots of races and everything um, but I could always run faster just out on the streets with my my big shoes on when there was no race no one was around or I actually I could run the fastest if uh, I was with a friend who was on a bike because then I had someone to like kind of race with but it wasn't like a competition it wasn't like it was me against them because we had different parameters instead we just we would just work together and I would be like yeah go fast and they would be like whoa dude that's crazy that you're keeping up with the bike keep going man and it would be like all this positive energy going back and forth <laughs> and there'd be no no negativity and I think that's why uh, I could run faster just on a, a daily basis I could run faster than I ever could on a track in a race when everything was perfect. You know, I had my, my fancy shoes on, my skin tight suit, which was super cute and stuff. <laughs> anyway, it was all aerodynamic, so you know, I could run faster. But I just couldn't run as fast. I mean, I, I'd be out in the street hopping, hopping cars and jumping over bushes and going through all these obstacles, still going faster than I could in a track race. And it's because in a track race, there was in a competition, and this is, this is in all kinds of sports, and anything in life, really, that I've done. Um, when, there's, when there's a competition, there is uh, a, there's a negative in there. And it doesn't have to be a big one. Like, uh, in a race, there's, there's people behind me who are, who are thinking, Ah, I hope that guy slows down, and just negative vibes. And, um, you know, I can... I can think to my, think in my brain, oh, just block that out. But even just that tiny amount of concentration that says, oh, block that out, ignore that, that's not important, that's already distracting from the just going. Because, like, when I, was, when I would just run on my own, just out in the streets, and, and there was no negativity, I could get right up to the point where I was about to fall on my face. You know, like, going so fast, I was about to fall over. And it would be okay, because I didn't feel vulnerable. I didn't feel like there were people kind of, you know, trying to attack or anything like that. But I was in competitions, you know, in soccer and all these other, all, this, all these other sports too. When, there's, when there are people expressing their ill will toward you, it, it has an effect. And it doesn't have to have a huge effect to make, to make a big difference in the overall thing, because a little tiny negative over a long period of time makes a huge difference. And, uh... Yeah, so I've, I don't really play sports anymore. I don't, I don't like games where there's a winner and a loser. I think it would be cool if, uh, if like in volleyball, instead of, uh, instead of trying to, de to defeat the other team, you, you got together with the, the team that you're playing with, and you have to get, bounce the ball as many times as you can in, in 20 minutes or something. Um, and then you just get a, you're, you, you get a score together. You see, that, that, that's not that great of an, an example. But I think if there were games like that where you were encouraged to cooperate with other people, then I, th I think people would be much more inclined to cooperate in, in everyday life. You know, if, if, uh, if you went to school and instead of, instead of everyone being graded and leveled and saying, oh, this person's the best, this person's second best, this person's third best, and to get the best you have to, you have to beat someone else. And that's life. That's the way it is. If, if we weren't told that constantly, I don't think that we'd have that attitude. I think we'd be much better at cooperating because I think it is in human nature to cooperate with each other. And that's why there's so many sick people t today because we go through all these years of indoctrination of school and, and culture and all this stuff that says, be mean to people and get ahead. 
and uh, it just makes people sick. It totally makes people sick. And, uh, and I, I would even say that since I stopped competing in anything and just doing anything where there's a, a huge negative component, um, I think my life is just, just happier. I feel better, generally. And I know the argument, oh, well, sports would be boring if you weren't, like, fighting each other and, you know, trying to defeat each other. But no, it would just be different. I mean, exciting things would come up regardless of what the sport was like. If it was a cooperative sport, and I'm sure there are cooperative sports out there where, where people work together and, and awesome, exciting things happen. It's just even more cool stuff happens because there's no one preventing the cool stuff from happening. And I think that would be... Uh, I mean, can you imagine what, what humans could do if, if we were all like working together? To, to create things and make awesomeness instead of, you know, you take one step forward and five people jump on you and try to push you back. Yeah, we just have totally awesome potential. And if all this negative culture would get out of the way, I think people could really do some awesome stuff. So, so don't, feel, don't be afraid to, like, be super positive. And when people come up and try to, like, argue with you and fight and stuff, yeah, don't be afraid to say, hey, man. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't think we should fight because we could do way more cool stuff if we cooperated. So. Oh, and I also know there's a there's kind of a huge culture of people who do just cooperate with each other to make things happen. It's mostly like nerds, which is why I like to associate with nerds. Nerds, nerds are cool. They're way more cool than like you know the cool kids who like want to blow everything up and shoot everything and destroy everything because. I mean, that's just, that's just boring. I mean, how many things can you blow up before you're like, oh yeah, there's another explosion, whoop-de-doo. You know, it, it, it's so much more interesting to actually create things and do, do positive stuff. Yeah, I'm just saying. And I like the Dalai Lama. He has nice robes. My mother likes them too. She really likes the red and yellow. 